It's been a week of glitz and glamour in Darwin with the Pride Festival celebrating gay and lesbian culture. But there's a serious side to the event. Next week, Federal Labor Members of Parliament will vote on whether gay marriage should become Labor policy at the annual ALP conference. It's Pride Week in Darwin and the city's drag queens are celebrating. Their interstate counterparts have travelled to the top end to join the party that culminates in the Queens of the Galaxy drag competition. This week aims to recognise diversity and be proud of it. It's all about just coming together and celebrating um, who you are and it definitely, um, oh, I guess, showing who you are to the broader community. Pride Week encompasses 15 events across nine days, with the focus on celebrating the gay and lesbian community. But behind the sparkle lie some serious issues. We would have been married a long time ago if, if we were allowed to be. Um, you know, we, we've got five acres here and it'd be a fantastic shindig. <laughs> All the birds are out today. Amber Sayers and Kirsty Hunt have been together for more than a decade. They'd love to get married, but the law doesn't allow for it, and they recently fought a tough battle to have a child. We had to go through IVF in Perth because we couldn't do it here in Darwin, um, only because the legislation won't allow it. We're residents and taxpayers of the Northern Territory, and we work here and invest here, and, and so it is just disappointing, I think, that we can't access full range of services. Their daughter, Sage, is six weeks old and the two women won the battle to have both their names on her birth certificate. But the next battle, winning the right to get married, could take a little longer. People will say that there's a sanctity of marriage, that it's going to upset the sanctity, but uh, what, is, what is a sanctity to marriage? You, know, you, you, can, you can marry last week and be divorced next week. Oh, look, the bread rolls. But not everyone in the gay community agrees. I think gay unions, if they're celebrated correctly, are, are fine, but, but gay marriage, and the word marriage, is something ordained by a church or by religion for putting couples together to make children. Outspoken restaurant owner John Spellman opposes gay marriage and he doesn't believe gay couples should be allowed to raise children. The child's going to have problems at school with two daddies or two mummies. Um, uh, kids can be pretty cruel in this respect. I think attitudes from the general public are changing and there, there'll be, there won't be as so much problem in the future. But it, I still don't think it's quite natural to bring up a child in a, in a gay relationship and I'm going to get a lot of flack about that, I know. The issue is resonating across the country. At next week's ALP conference, federal members will cast a conscience vote on whether they support gay marriage. I do not support a change to the Marriage Act, but I also understand that there are deeply held and differing views, so it is appropriate that on a question like this that the Labor Party gives its members a conscience vote. I would hope that they take a reasonable position and decide to legislate on equality rather than discrimination. Darwin-born artist Matty Van Roden has moved back to the city after spending almost a decade living in the United Kingdom. In London he met his Brazilian partner Wunderson de Sequeira and the pair were granted civil partnership, which is a legally recognised union. Here not even our civil partnership is recognised. I can't see any reasonable argument why I shouldn't be allowed to participate in the institution of marriage just the same way as everybody else. Can I just stop here? Yeah. Great. As an emerging artist, Matty Van Roden is channeling his views through the Pride Festival's no, um, art exhibition. Did it really quickly, actually? I think that the time is right for things to change. Yeah, I think this is a good opportunity and if it doesn't happen at the national conference then there's the risk that this will be put on the back burner for, for a longer period of time. Sound designer Panos Kuros is also taking part in the Art of Pride exhibition. As an artist I haven't presented my, my work or my ideas and I really relish the fact that I have the opportunity to do that without any constraints whatsoever. His video installation was inspired by his experience with infectious disease. I was someone who had hepatitis and went through a, a disinfection 
program and I actually got rid of the virus. And I found myself one day um, working in the HIV sector and dealing with um, a whole lot of people who were HIV positive and I was the only HIV negative person in the room and I actually felt guilty about that. Pride Week has had some colourful highlights. A man in drag abseiling down one of the city's highest buildings certainly draws attention. It's a big achievement under challenging circumstances. Organisers hope this week will also leave lasting impressions. One of the unique things about the Territory is that the community is so entirely diverse and I think that that's what makes it so um, embracing and so accepting of so many different lifestyles and so many different choices that we all make. And Pride Week ends with a family day at Civic Park this weekend.